bottles of beer on the wall, hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to begin by tuning on into French Hot Beer Reviews. Hello again. <laughs> And welcome to French Hose Bear Reviews. Hi, I'm Scott. I am Jeff. Mr. Freeze is back with another big 16-ounce beer. Yes, this is from our Find It in Your Store series. Yes, Samuel Adams, New England-style IPA. Weighing in at 6.8% and a disappointing 35 IBUs. Yes, Eboos, we like to call that here on the show. Eboos. A lot of um, I had to get the memo on that one. It's supposed to be hazy and juicy. Yes. So a few of the big breweries are, are trying to put out these beers. Bigger breweries. That are along the lines of a real New England IPA. Um, they fall short a little bit, but I think it's a, maybe a good example, a good starter for someone who, you know, can't get a hold of some real good stuff or too lazy to go somewhere or seek it out. Um, and they figure they cash in on it. So. Sierra Nevada also has one. Um, we have a live uh, taping of the review for a uh, Hazy Little Thing by Sierra. Also, you know, in the same category, a, I don't want to say wannabe New England IPA, but find it a, a more mass-produced New England IPA. Yes. Um, Much larger brewery in my time. This is the first time I had this. You had it uh, the other day, two nights ago. Mm-hmm. Um, this grabs a 3.73 from Untapped out of 9,000 ratings. Yeah. Get that out of the way. Meet, they, Sam Adams says, medium body, hazy brew with a big punch of citrus juiciness. 211 and, calories. Yeah, finding the calorie counts on some of the beers I researched tonight. 211 in this. That's kind of light for a uh, IPA. Ounce. Well, for an IPA in general. Yeah. Not bad. So really, we're only doing, what, uh, 105.5 calories in this. Yeah, it's like a light beer almost. Uh, there's a bunch of food pairings. I don't know if we need to go into that. Clam chowder. That's kind of a weird one. Yeah. Red, do you think, or white? White. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll ch- we'll decide that after we drink it. Mango, chili, chicken. That kind of makes sense. Fish and chips. Fruit topped bread pudding. I'm not... No. Yeah, maybe if you're like 75 and older. <laughs> bread pudding is not something I have often. Uh, how many times do you eat pineapple upside down cake? Never have. Right. I had one in the house for a party. Did you? Threw it out. Yeah. The whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, hops, we have Galaxy, Simcoe, Mosaic, Citra, and Cascade. We like them all. Lots of favorites there. So. Mosaic by itself can be a little mild. Uh-huh. We found that out. Yes. All right, anyways, on to the bear. Yeah, nice color. Held a decent head, because I yeah. poured it like a jackass. Nice and hazy, definitely cloudy, like they say. Yeah, some lacing on the glass there. Yeah. Medium-sized bubbles. What's that mean? I don't know. Okay. I've heard other guys say it. It sounds like fancy, important. Yeah. So, um, let's smell it. it. Smells excellent. It smells juicy. It smells pineapple, mango. Yep, just like a, orange. Pretty much like a standard or what you're what you would think yeah. your New England IPA is supposed to smell like. I've got high hopes. I do too. Hi. <laughs> and this is exactly when you can tell it's made by the same apps. It's um I gotta say it's better than I expected. Okay. Um, I mean, I don't think it's bad by any means. Unless t- you haven't had it on draft, huh? I haven't I'd seen it on draft. It on draft. I don't know if there's places that carry it. I'd have to imagine uh, maybe here or something. So. <sighs> Me and him had a discussion about this beer before we started this, so yeah. I'm waiting to see what he comes so, out with. So I feel that. <clears throat> excuse me. This is an entry-level New England IPA. It's missing some of the more dank juiciness, uh, tropical type stuff going on. And obviously the hop 
the hop bitterness is a little low with the 35 IBUs. It's this is like a to me a kindergarten, a beginner New England IPA. It's it not does, bad tasting. It does exactly what I said it does. Yeah. It you start off and you're like, oh, this is good. And then it's gone. It smells great. Taste is okay, and, and then it falls up, off. Yeah, up, up front, it's great. But they can't carry the flavor through. And that happens. I see that, I find that a lot with session ales. Or session IPAs. So, yep. That's um, kind of what this reminds me. I got a 3.5 on this. Yeah. Um, I, I don't dislike it, but it's not, it's not great. And the, it's four packs. 15, 16 bucks probably. Honestly, I did not buy twelve ninety nine maybe. Uh, my but, John Oban, my brother in law, bought these for me. So. Yeah, I, it's it's good. It, good. That's what I'm gonna say. It's three point five. Yeah, I mean, it's a good beer. I, I I'd be at like a three five. I'll I'll say three six. I don't think I'm gonna buy I'm it. Nice. But, I don't think I'm gonna go out and buy it. But if someone had one, I would definitely have it. The, the only reason this is the only full fledged IPA at the bar I went to. And that's the reason I even started drinking it that day. And then, uh, yeah, it's, it's my yeah. own. That's you go three five on it too. Three five, three six. I'll say three six just to. Okay, I'm a three five. It, like I said, not saying it's bad beer. Yeah, a bad beer is like a one and a half or a two. It's three point five. Under three. It's I'd a little bit so. better than average. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, and I'm not going nuts over this, but um. No, a decent intro to the style, a little lighter, and less going on than you find in uh, uh, Treehouse Green or, or a, a, a local, you know. yeah. But but it is what it is, and it, they're definitely going to cash in on this for a while. And um, they're going to open people's eyes to what a New England IPA is until they really taste what a real New England IPA is. Right. Yeah, because if people think this is really good, they're right. going to try like a. Find the way to get Ooh. something like a green or a haze or something. Yeah. But it's but decent. It's, yeah. So check us out down below. All our social media and uh, other types of websites. Shirts like these. At redbubble.com. You can buy shirts just like me and him are wearing. Yeah. We're going to... Um, we're actually... Later tonight, we're filming our first uh, live video. So we're going to see how that works out. Hopefully do more of those in the future, depending on how it goes. Yep. I mean, we're pretty much live anyway, so we don't do any editing. Nope. Except for when you We're sneezes. live on like a three-week delay for you guys. Right. He sneezes a lot, so we cut that. <laughs> but that's it for this one. 3.5 for me, 3.6 3. for Jeff. Have a great night. See ya. Hundreds of bottles of beer on the wall. Hundreds of bottles of beer. Which one's the right one for me? Sometimes the answer's not that clear. My best bet's to